I just have, I have an urge to satisfy my imagination. I, and I, I have an urge to kind of dwell in beautiful images. And the best way I have found to, to do that is to make music. I do see the whole traitor kind of project as as having maybe a limited lifespan because it's made it's in the way in the arc that I kind of have in my head it's um basically the unveiling of a kind of <laughs> creature that's or that's in that's in myself that is the kind of primal elementary essence of my kind of animal energy basically I don't consciously do it because I, I've never decided to do it, but I like oblique things. I don't like, like if I'm writing a song about a certain memory, I don't like to just say the thing. I don't, I like ambiguity and I like evoking things. I always think it's, it's a richer kind of expression. To be an artist is, is lots of the time just absurd. You're dealing with unreality all of the time. You're not dealing with real, real life or you're, you're trying to evoke real life, but it's, it's not real, none of it's real. You kind of lie about or you construct images about real life to make, to, to transcend real life, but also to represents it in, in the most meaningful sense. The kind of urge it satisfies in me is like a circular one in that it just satisfies the urge I have to feel the things I've made making music in the past. Yes. So it, it becomes a kind of, in that narrow sense, it satisfies that urge, but in the wider sense, it satisfies my imagination and my body. It satisfies everything. It satisfies, in, just in the, more, in the most profound sense, satisfies your urge to be a human, I think. To be proud of yourself, to have good sensory experiences. Like, the beats watching the TV or something. Like, <laughs> on every level. Good, it should open up another world for you. 